started, you will need three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of kosher salt. After combining all the ingredients, I'm going to give it a good mix. Next, I'll be adding a third cup of vegetable shortening. And what I'll do is just combine it with my hands. Now that that is all combined, I will be adding one full cup of hot water. And I know some people like to use boiling water. Don't give yourself third degree burns. Just make sure the water is hot enough to be able to melt down some of that lard so it can incorporate better with the flour. And I'm just going to be pouring the water little by little while mixing it with my hand. Of course the flour and water mixing together will look very tacky, your hands are going to get messy, but the key here is to continue to knead the flour and the water together. To make sure that our tortillas are nice and supple, you want to keep the dough on, on the wet side. So right now that you see me mixing it, my hands still look messy and tacky, but you do not want to add flour at this point. You just want to knead until the dough ball forms and the dough stops sticking to your hand. And it actually will still feel very wet and tacky when you're done kneading. But if you add flour now, your tortillas will lose that supple, soft, tender texture. You'll end up with a, a harder tortilla that won't have elasticity to the dough. So that's why it's important for you to just continue kneading. I will be kneading for a good 10 minutes. I'm close to the 10 minute mark and you can already see how the dough has stopped sticking to my hand and it is nice and soft and supple. So you could at this point let it rest for 10 minutes but before I do that I actually like to separate the dough balls into about a, a dozen pieces. So with this recipe it easily makes 12 tortillas but for some reason i don't know why every time i do this i end up with 14 but definitely you can have a dozen tortillas or a dozen dough balls at this point so what i'm doing is just a tuck and turn motion to make the dough ball and you could definitely just roll it out with your hands and, and shape it into a ball but this is the way my grandma taught me so that's the way i like to do it so anyways i'm going to go ahead and speed things up and just continue forming my dough balls. I also just wanted to show you um, by stretching the dough, the elasticity that you achieve when you knead it and let it rest and this is what we're looking for because the elasticity that you find in your dough is what you're going to find in your finished product or your finished tortilla 
So anyways, now that that's done, I ended up once again with my 14. I tried for 12, but I always end up with 14. Now I'm just going to cover all of my dough balls with a damp paper towel and I will be letting this dough rest for a good 10 minutes. You could even go as long as 15 minutes, but 10 minutes at least. Now that the dough has rested for a good 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling some of my tortillas out and you can see how soft the dough looks. This would also be a good opportunity to start to gradually bring your comal or whatever pan you're going to be making your tortillas in. Uh, you want to bring it up to a medium high heat. I've just floured my working surface. I'm going to flour my rolling pin and my dough ball and now I'm just going to start rolling them out in not a perfect circle but you know somewhat of a circle and by the time I start getting into my third or fourth tortilla rolling it out I'm sure they'll start to look better but for some reason that first one just doesn't quite make a circle shape. <laughs> Since I'm making tortillas by myself, I like to get a head start on about two tortillas and I'll hang them on the side of the bowl. And once I get to rolling out the second one, I'm going to go ahead and start cooking my tortillas. I've preheated my cast iron skillet. This is what I'll be using to make my tortillas in. And I'm just going to real time, I'm gonna show you how long it takes for those air bubbles to start forming. I just wanna show you how long I cook uh, the tortilla on the first side. And once I flip it over, I'll speed things up. Okay, so now that I'm done with all my tortillas, I just wanted to show you. Uh, you can buy one of those tortilla warmer containers, but I just used napkins and aluminum foil on a plate. So here I just wanted to demonstrate how supple, soft, and pliable these tortillas are. You can fold them, shape them, and then voila, they go right back into a shape without breaking or tearing. 
And I also wanted to show you my favorite way to eat tortillas, and that is with a delicious breakfast taco. Here I have my homemade uh, Mexican chorizo. And for this recipe, you can wait to the end of this video and click on the video icon. It'll take you straight there. Or you can go to my Gochujang Mama YouTube channel for this recipe and more. The aroma in my kitchen right now is childhood all over again. Nothing beats a freshly made flour tortilla and a homemade breakfast taco. I certainly hope you guys try this recipe. It's delicious. And as always, the recipe for these tortillas will be located in the description box below. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching! Hey guys! You can click on the video icons for more recipes. Or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching!